<laughs> you're the devil, are you? Oh, boy, are you? <laughs> so someone commented on my last video, and I have to bring it to the attention of my viewers. They said, uh, I was very immature and need to grow up, quite childish, because I said at the beginning of my video, hoo ha ha hee hee. And I have to agree, because what I should have said was hee hee hoo ha ha. <laughs> anyway, so I've done a, quite a few videos on by wiring, by wiring single wired, by wiring comments, by amping, by wiring A and B speakers. And I've had mixed results, I have to say. I've never, you know, been wowed by it. But when I when I did uh, when I buy wide A B speakers on my Moran amp, I did hear a slight improvement. Personally, I thought it was a sl uh, the top end was slightly better and the bass was a bit more coherent. But then I thought, ah, but when I did the A and B speaker by wiring, I actually. Um, was using better cable than the previous videos. I was using 12 gauge oxygen free, uh, co pure copper oxygen free cable. Whereas the previous ones, I was using 14 gauge, not 12 gauge. And I thought, oh, I wonder if that, that, that would make a difference. So then I got it, my brain started working around. <laughs> okay. And so I've got some nine, uh, my, part of my brother's Wharfdale nine po Diamond 9.1s because my speakers don't have by wiring, so I had to borrow his speakers. He rarely uses them. And I will say, I stand by, the, these speakers are going for 99 quid a pair now, in the UK at least anyway. And I doubt you'll find a better speaker for the price. I, I very doubt very much you're gonna find a better speaker for, not, for even 150 to 200 pound. Great speaker for the price, 99 quid, mental. Anyway, so, what I was thinking was, what is the limiting factor? What is the common denominator? What is, what is the, the weakest link? Well, you see on most uh, speak, by wireable speakers, they either have a wire coming here or a plate. Now, depending on the quality of that plate there, or the wire that's going to it, it's got to make a difference to the sound. So this is what I thought. If you buy wire, if you take this plate off and you buy wire A B speakers, is it just the fact that you've taken away the plate and you just put a better cable to the high frequencies? So, do you get where I'm coming? <laughs> do you, do, are you keeping up with my brain? Okay. So I thought, hang on a sec. What if I got rid of these jumper plates? And I got some of my um, 12 gauge OFC cable and used them and cut, cut them down to length and used them as jumper cables to go across here instead of these jumper plates. Because look, they say they're gold plated, but you don't know what type of metal they are. I guarantee that that's not giving you as good a signal as 12 gauge oxygen free copper cable can. So what I'm going to do today is take off these plates make my own jumper cables from that 12 gauge OFC and see if it makes a difference. Do a quick sound test. Now I do appreciate that YouTube, you know, will compress and you may not get it, but what I'll do, I'll, I'll have a good listen to it on my headphones and I'll give you my opinion at the end. So the first thing I need to do is to cut some cable. I've got some 12 gauge oxygen free copper cable here. So I just cut a little piece off. Obviously I'm going to need I'm gonna cut this in half. That's about halfway there. Now I need to take this white sort of plastic sheath off it. Now that's, this is never easy. It's always a pain in the blinking neck. Um, so what I tend to do is I try and find the center and score it all the way along. Now you've gotta be careful using this Please watch your fingers if we do do this. I don't go all the way through because I don't want to damage the wire inside. But I just try and score this now all the way along. So it's easier to peel back. 
If anyone knows any, a better or easier way to do this, then please let me know in the comment section. Let's just get that out of the way, is it? <laughs> As you can see, because I've scored it, it should make it easier to peel back. That's the plan anyway. <clears throat> And there you go. So I want to take a couple of mil off the end of this now here, just so that I connect that to those speaker terminals. Just give it a little twist. Obviously, if if I was doing this permanently, I'd probably get some spades to go on the end to go over to get a better connection. <coughs> but. Uh, as it is, I'm just going to twist the wire and push it through. What I'm going to do now is take off these plates that are bridging between these the upper and lower frequencies. So I'm going to take them out for a second. Okay, loosen these off. And the plates come out very easily like this. So it's probably best to take the, th the thing all the way off, just easier to make sure that wire's in there. And what I'm going to do now is put that through there. Yoink it round. And put that one through there. And then yoink that round. Yoink and yoink. And tighten these back up. Okay, so now you can see that rather than using the plates to bridge the gap, we're using this 12 gauge oxygen free copper cable, which should give a much better signal than these plates.
And there you have it. Now, I'm not sure if you picked it up over YouTube, and if you're listening for the comparison on your phone, give yourself a big slap around the face, because you won't hear the difference on your phone, okay? <laughs> if anything, I would always try and listen to the comparison on a decent set of headphones, okay? But like I say, it's on YouTube. I don't know if you could tell the difference, but I can give you my personal opinion, and my personal opinion is, it was shit, no, it was, it was actually, um, I did hear a difference, but not only in the bi-wired uh, A and B speaker, but also where I bridged it with those uh, copper cables. There was definitely an improvement in sound where I bridged it with the copper cables over the standard wiring. <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> okay, so what I would recommend is, is if you have bi-wireable speakers, and they've given you them silly little plates that, that they're on there, take them off, get some 12 gauge OFC cable and put that, that in instead. And I think you will hear a bit of an improvement. Look, it's not gonna be, oh my God, it's so amazing. It's not gonna be night and day, okay? But we're all trying to get a little bit of improvement every, and even a little bit is pretty good, isn't it? I don't know. But you guys tell me, did you hear a difference? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway. That's come to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, yeah. Tell us the old YouTube algorithm. Hang on a sec. People are liking and commenting on that video. I might push it forward a little bit. So I would really appreciate that. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, why the hell not? Come on, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.